Yo, what's up guys? So now we're going to be talking about parent and family functions and we're going to get into a lot more detail with parent functions and family functions in the next few videos, but I just want to give a little brief overview before we get into those details. So the way it works from a high level is that we have a parent function and from that parent function we can transform it and get these different family functions. There's an infinite amount of family functions we can have for any parent function. So the parent function is the most simple base function. Let's just give it that definition for now. And then these family functions are transformed functions from the parent. So let's do an example here. So x squared is an example of a simple base function, a parent function, and we're actually going to be using x squared a lot in this course. So x squared represents a parent function and we can transform this function in different ways. We can put a 3 in front of it so we could stretch it. We can transfer it or translate it to the right by one unit. We can also translate it up by two units. So there's an infinite amount of things we can do to this parent function x squared. So these are three examples of family functions of that parent function. Now in the next few videos, we're going to go over different parent functions that we'll be dealing with in this course. Most of them will be review from grade 10. However, it's important for you to be very comfortable with them because you will be running into them a lot in this course.